Can you imagine this coffee I'm holding in my hand sold out as soon as it was released just over a week ago? Because of the high market demand, there's a shortage of the freebies that come with it, piling pressure on producers. That's right, there's no short of consumer boom ignited by the Black Myth Wukong co-branding. Coffee isn't the only product trying to get a slice of the Black Myth cake. There are many other products that have seen this valuable co-branding opportunity. More than a dozen categories, ranging from collector's edition of the game, graphic cards, computers, solid state drives, game pads, to share buying and stamps, have all linked up with the game. As it turns out, the game did not disappoint these brands either. The clothing brand of a well-known domestic game website that often does co-branding with various game IPs also saw tying up with Black Myth Wukong exceed expectations. Black Myth has really exceeded our expectations. For example, we've released the products for about a week or so, and the whole thing has sold almost as much as the other series has sold in a year. Not just the consumer market, even the stock market has benefited from the game. On the day of the game's release, stocks linked to it performed brilliantly, going up by 10% to 20%. In addition to stimulating the markets, the consumer boom ignited by Black Myth Wukong has had a deeper impact. In fact, a lot of games that came earlier in China did not really have such great promotional value. I think it's good that Black Myth has made many brands realize the influence of game IPs and their consumer pull. These IPs will now be inspired to cooperate with brands in China and domestic games overseas. The success of Black Myth's co-branded products once again confirms that consumers will always pay for high-quality goods that cashing on what's currently trending. Zhang Zhenyi, CGTN, Shanghai.